Stock prices for keyboard and mouse are plummeting because you don't need them anymore to do anything in Blender. You can just ask ChatGPT to do everything for you in Blender. So let's try that. Hello ChatGPT, can you do anything I want in Blender? No. Well, that might be an exaggeration, but not far off. We have a new add-on that lets you do anything by voice command in Blender. Well, not anything, but some. It's still in its early development, so we are hoping in the future you can be able to do almost everything in Blender. You're still going to need uh, to sculpt and uh, edit, model, everything. But uh, yeah, it's a fun tool. Right now, it's a, it's a party trick you, you can use to show off to your friends at parties. Anyway, so let's jump in and uh, show you how to use it. I'm going to also show you the process of installation and in the uh, later in the video. So yeah, stay around. So I have here Blender with the add-on installed, a Blender GPT. It's a very simple interface. I have execute by voice or text, uh, execute by text. So I can say duplicate object 12 times, execute by text, and it will duplicate that 12 times. I just give this a, a moment and you can see, and uh, maybe it, can, yeah, it has duplicated it and uh, stacked it on top of each other. I didn't ask it to do that, but uh, it figured maybe I wanted that as well. It's powered by ChatGPT, so ChatGPT can understand context a bit, so you don't always have to add too much description. Uh, that's a good thing. You can also maybe do a uh, Rotate selected objects randomly. Execute. It's uh, it's still primitive. Uh, most of these you can do uh, by hand in a matter of uh, seconds. Uh, you can see it has duplicated this randomly and uh, rotated this. That was uh, the text part of this. Let's try out the the voice command, the modern way of doing things in Blender. Yeah, AI can be scary sometimes, but it can also be as fun as this. So let's try this. Duplicate objects 12 times. Voila. 12 times it was duplicated. Select these. Randomize rotation of selected objects. Perfect. And uh, the reason you saw me keep quiet for a bit here, because it listens to your microphone and uh, it waits for you to complete your statements and then execute. So if you keep talking, uh, it might think that uh, your, whatever you're saying is part of the uh, the command and uh, it might confuse uh, the entire system. So yeah, that's why you saw me just keeping quiet. And uh, you have to enunciate your, whatever your commands are as for it to understand. But it works perfectly, you think, yeah, you can see rotated everything randomly and uh, and because this add-on is powered by chat gpt i can even give it vague commands like make selected objects look up cannot apply uh, yes yeah, so you, you can see this is still in early development so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't in my test it did that and uh, just rotated everything uh, similar to what you would uh, just do this is failing to do that again so sometimes it doesn't uh, perform very well uh, like you're seeing in the example here but uh, let me show you how you can install the add-on i'm going to be leaving a link to their github page where you can download uh this add-on uh, so uh, all you have to do is just go to the code and then download the zip file and uh, install it like an, a normal add-on uh, so you go under edit uh, preferences and then install the add-on it's going to ask you for an, for an api uh that uh, the, the api key you're going to download that from uh, you're going to get that api key from your open ai uh, account so just go to google and search for open ai key open api key and uh, it should uh, take you to a page where you can uh, copy or generate a new api key so you just see generate api key and then copy it uh, paste it in here and uh, the the you'll be able to start working with this voice command one issue you might have is that uh, uh this version of the add-on at least for for right now it requires that you have uh the pi audio module installed on your pi in my in python so if you try to use the add-on right away after installing the api it might not work because uh the add-on at least the voice command part requires that you have uh, a python module called 
Pi Audio. If you don't have that installed, it will give you an error. To clear that error, you just have to go to, uh, just open up any window you have here and go to the text editor, uh, create a new text editor and uh, paste this command here. Import pip, pip.main, uh, bracket, install Pi Audio. It will install the module that is missing because Blender comes with a, a compressed down version of Python and some things are missing in that uh, that version I call BPY. Uh, so this is how you add some of the modules that uh, this add-on requires and uh, that is the Pi Audio module. I, I don't know if, it, if the add-on will be shipped with the Pi Audio module by the time uh, this video goes up but uh, for now if it's not working just go to any window of Blender and uh, turn that into a text editor. Paste in this code. I'm going to be adding that in the description and I just hit play. And you can also turn on the window system console, uh, this console here by going under window toggle system console to show this. And if you hit, uh, if you execute that uh, command by clicking on this uh, icon here, run script, uh, you will see that uh, you will start, the installation of st process will start. Uh, but because I've already installed this, I'm getting an error uh, because uh, I've already installed it, so it can't reinstall it. And uh, yeah, it will show you a green text like this, showing you that the uh, the add-on is successful. And uh, when you hit uh, execute, you'll be able to you start to you see the start speaking option here, and uh, that means that uh, the add-on is working uh, correctly. And uh, you can start adding in your commands, and uh, it will work. All right, so that's it. But uh, don't forget to check out all the add-ons that I have in the description. It's a nice way to support creators. In the description, there is Flip Fluids, our fluid simulation uh, tool add-on uh, that uh, helps you simulate uh, fluids better than the inbuilt fluid simulator. It has more functionality and the fluids uh, look much better. There is Sanctus Material Library, a collection of procedure materials, an amazing add-on. There is Quick Motion that gives your camera a more realistic hand motion uh, animation with a different templates to, uh, to choose from, uh, like a car on, like a camera in a car or something. Uh, there is Fluent Material, another material library that uh, has a lot of PBR materials and um, uh, different ways to blend materials. And uh, then Cloudscape, uh, Cloudscapes are a collection of VDB clouds uh, that you can use with Blender. These add-ons are amazing and uh, using them helps creators like me and uh, makes it sustainable to create tutorials uh, for Blender and other things. So thank you uh, for watching. I'll see you in the next